out here in beautiful Florida and today I want to talk about the oriental fruit fly problem that's occurring in South Florida. Uh, there's 97 square miles of a quarantined area in the Redlands area which is near Homestead and Miami area South Florida because of the oriental fruit fly which is a pest that's affecting over 400 about 430 different crops it can affect up to 430 different crops and it lays eggs into the fruit or whatever it is actually discovered in an almond tree back on August 17th of this year 2015 and uh, it causes a bad effect if you eat the fruits or the plants from those um, affected crops and there's different ones whether it be avocados, papayas, mames, guavas, sapodillas, tomatoes, beans, squashes, it's just the list is you know pretty wide, pretty long and it's unfortunate because um, the Redlands area is an area that produces a lot of the crops that we all know and love and eat and get from South Florida, Florida area and it's a rich area, you know, red clay area and uh, you know it's it's unfortunate that this pest is, is uh, occurring and the Adam Putnam, who's the agricultural commissioner of Florida, he's, he's uh, issued a state of emergency back on the 15th of September and starting tomorrow, August, October 2nd, they're going to do aerial spraying of this um, sp spinosol which is made from camel poop which is approved for organic farming to combat this oriental fruit fly issue in that 97 square mile area that's been quarantined and could be quarantined up until February 5th they're estimating of next year and different companies are affected by this NPR has done a story which I'll link in the description below uh, about this JNC Tropicals is affected um, other companies are affected like small growers are kind of being affected that are in the Redlands area and some of them are having to be sh you know shut down they're they're growing uh, their farms some of them want to sell and you know it's not gonna affect the big guys like Unity Groves and JNC Tropicals like it's gonna affect them of course but they have areas outside those um, quarantined areas and affected areas that they can rely on for those crops but the small growers are being neglected and just like we're seeing in all types of business, like the small people, the small mom and pop growers and such, they're being shut out. They're being neglected. They're, they're the ones who are going to be really affected by this oriental fruit fly. So it's unfortunate, but it's what's happening. And people, I heard in the NPR story, they said four people want to sell their farms or something along those lines. And I'm sure we're going to see more if, assuming that area of quarantine you know, it continues to expand. It was 85 square miles initially, expanded 12 uh, square miles to 97, and could expand more. They found 161 uh, reported fruit flies, and uh, they're going to start the spraying on October 2nd, tomorrow, Friday, and hopefully that'll combat the issue. Um, um, that there's a link that I'm going to give in the description as well, where you can sign up for a newsletter from freshfromflorida.com about this issue. And I'm also going to put a, a, a number, a phone number that you can call a hotline to report any sightings of this fruit fly in the South Florida area. So I highly recommend both of those to you. And let's hope that we can keep seeing these mangoes and different crops come from these trees and continue to get them from this beautiful land that is South Florida. And please click like, share, and subscribe. See you later.